Welcome to Lesson 6 of Module 2 on Introduction to Databases and Database Management Systems. I'm going to start with a personal question that I want you to think about throughout this lesson. How do data warehouses affect your life? This lesson provides informational background about business intelligence processing to provide a context as you learn detailed skills about query formulation and database development in later lessons. You have three learning objectives in this lesson today. You should be able to identify three levels of decision making and provide an example of at least one decision at each level. In your own words, you should be able to provide a brief definition of a data warehouse. To clarify your understanding of transaction processing and business intelligence processing, you should be able to explain at least one characteristic that differs among these two types of processing. The traditional decision making hierarchy depicts management levels and volume and decisions at each level. Lower level management deals with short-term problems related to individual transactions and daily operations. Typical operational decisions involve resolution of shipment delays, scheduling employees, and restocking products. Middle management makes decisions to implement organizational strategies, typically on an annual basis. Typical tactical decisions involve forecasting annual sales, choosing suppliers and related contract terms, and determining annual staffing levels. Top-level management makes strategic decisions that guide the direction of an organization in the long run. Typical strategic decisions involve identification of new markets, determining pricing levels, and choosing new locations for plants and stores. Operational databases directly support major functions such as order processing, manufacturing, accounts payable, and product distribution. The reasons for investing in an operational database are typically faster processing, larger volumes of business, and reduced personnel costs. Operational databases provide the raw materials for management decision making. Lower level management can obtain exception and problem reports directly from operational databases. However, much value must be added to leverage the operational databases for middle and upper management. The operational databases must be summarized and integrated to provide value for tactical and strategic decision making. Integration is necessary because operational databases often are developed in isolation without regard for the information needs of tactical and strategic decision making. Strategic decision making also requires data sources external to an organization such as industry and government data sets. Data warehouse, a term coined by William Inman in 1990, refers to a logically centralized data repository where data from operational databases and other sources are integrated, cleaned, and standardized to support business intelligence. The transformational activities, such as cleaning, integrating, and standardizing, are essential for achieving benefits. Tangible benefits from a data warehouse can include increased revenue and reduced expenses enabled by business analysis that was not possible before the data warehouse was deployed. For example, a data warehouse may enable reduced losses due to improved fraud detection, improved customer retention through targeted marketing, and reduction in inventory carrying costs through improved demand forecasting. Transaction processing relies on operational databases with current data at the individual level, while business intelligence processing utilizes data warehouses with historical data at both the individual and summarized levels. Individual level data provides flexibility for responding to a wide range of business intelligence needs, while summarized data provides fast response to repetitive queries. For example, an order entry transaction requires data about individual customers, orders, and inventory items, while a business intelligence application may use monthly sales over a period of several years. Operational databases, therefore, have a process orientation. For example, all data relevant to a particular business process, such as order entry, compared to a subject orientation for data warehouses, for example, all customer data or all order data. A transaction typically updates only a few records, whereas a business intelligence application may query thousands to millions of records. Business intelligence processing requires substantial daily processing, usually in non-peak hours, for transformations and integration. This lesson has introduced data warehouses and business intelligence processing 
to contrast with transaction processing introduced in the previous lesson. Data warehouses are an essential infrastructure to support tactical decision making with a medium term impact and strategic decision making with a long term impact. Business intelligence processing involves substantial processing of data from operational databases and external data sources for transformations and in integration, as well as large amounts of data for reporting. In contrast, transaction processing collects primary data from operations from large numbers of transactions with really relatively small amounts of data per transaction, as well as reporting for resolving operational problems. The second and third courses in this specialization will expand upon this brief introduction to provide details about data warehouses. You will learn concepts and concrete skills for data warehouse design, transformations to populate data warehouses from operational databases, and DBMS features to implement and use data warehouses for business intelligence.